Hey everyone, it's Hans, and welcome back. In 2013, a little-known Polish developer by the name of CD Projekt Red announced Cyberpunk 2077. Seven long years of teasers and trailers and so on and so forth have passed, but the game is finally here. And goodness knows there are many people out there who are super excited to get their hands on it, including myself. And with that in mind, I managed to pick up the awesome Collector's Edition, which I'm going to unbox for all of you right now. Huge, huge box. And I don't know, I, okay. I assume that's, that is the top. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to, to do this. That is absolutely incredible. It actually has a handle. All right, so. I'm unboxing this all for you guys for the first time. All right, so it's absolutely, it's massive. This is what it looks like. It actually has a handle and I'm gonna try and pull it up. Wow. Oh, jeez. So, there is actually, <laughs> Depending on which version you get, there is actually a front covering, which has the protagonist V on the front. Just a little bit more about the box itself. And then of course, what is included in the actual collector's edition. Um, this sleeve will de be dependent on whether you've got the Xbox or the PlayStation version. As you can see, this is the Xbox version. With that aside, we have the main box. And it is absolutely massive. Wow. It is massive and very heavy. <laughs> underneath, the thing underneath. And this is the top. Wow, good grief. So let's, okay, so this piece here slides off the thing. Box, All right. That's what it looks like. There's nothing on the inside. So this pops off. And you can just open it to more of this yellowish packaging. Okay, then this gives us access to two boxes one of which I think is going to be the actual collectible and I think this is just extra collectible stuff. So let's pull out the one. Wow. And this itself is absolutely incredible. And it's massive, look at that. Absolutely massive. We'll do them each separately. So we'll put this box down for the moment, take out what I think is going to be the collectible. Yeah, this is, this is quite light, but I'm assuming this is the collectible. All right, wow. So now that we've opened the absolutely massive box and we've taken out the two inserts, one of which is a polystyrene box, which I'm assuming has the figure, and then this absolutely beautiful cyberpunk box. And um, it's very, very, very well designed. Wow, oh, that is absolutely stunning. Wow, that is beautiful. So you open up this box and it actually has the game on the left underneath a whole lot of signatures from the entire CD Projekt Red team. That is class. Now, once you've peeled back the see-through layer with all of the signatures on it, you'll have access to the game. This is technically the standard edition of the game. 
But even so, it comes with a world compendium, some extra stickers, postcards, and a game map, as well as a bunch of digital content. And then on the right hand side, we have a whole lot of other little extras. Uh, the first of which is what seems to be an absolutely gorgeous art book, The Art of Cyberpunk 2077. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow, it's incredible. Sure, what an incredible experience. Directly underneath the art book, we have a variety of other extras, one of which is a Night City Police Department evidence bag. Let's have a look. So the evidence bag is actually just a visitor's guide. A visitor's guide to Night City. I, I suppose we could consider this something like a manual for the game. This is very, very, very cool. Then we have an absolutely beautiful steelbook case for Cyberpunk the game, which is apparently on two discs. Let's have a look and see what's in this smaller box. Ah, stickers, a whole bunch of cyberpunk stickers. Bottom left box. Ah, pins, some really beautiful pins. How lovely. Bottom right box, we have a beautiful key ring of the, the car that V drives. Top right box. We'll have some more. Ah, some patches. The actual patches that are included. Very, very, very nice. This is an absolutely beautiful box it's very well made and i love the fact that if you're not using all of these collectible items you can actually put them away quite nicely and then store the box elsewhere okay now it's time to open the second box which i think is going to be the pinnacle of this collector's edition it's basically a over 30 centimeter statue of v the main protagonist from cyberpunk 2077 and i'm really hoping it's going to be as good as the one from the witcher 3 with gerald um, that thing was made of polystone it was absolutely exceptional up. Let's have a look at the statue. <laughs> there we go. It uh, smells very good. <laughs> there, it looks like it's made out of three pieces. So we have the base. Very, very nicely detailed with the cyberpunk logo on the front of it. Um, there's like some food. It's very well painted. It's very nicely painted. It is plastic, however. The second part of it is actually the motorcycle. I suppose that V is posed with for the game. And it looks, wow, it's pretty nice. It's actually quite detailed. There are even stickers in the, 
window or the, the glass of the bike. It's actually very nicely detailed. There aren't any moving parts or anything. The wheels don't move. <laughs> but it is nicely painted and it seems like V has crashed into some crony of some kind. Of course, the final part of the statuette is V himself. Now that we have all of the three of the pieces, let's try and put it together. And v himself is flying off, off the bike, right? Yes, there. This piece here goes into the floor like that. All right, that's pretty cool. It's really simple and a very, very nice showpiece. Very, very nice indeed. There's actually a lot of detail in this thing. It's actually very, it's quite nice. If you can look at the expressions and the faces, the detail in the guns, the car itself, the bike itself. It's very cool. Overall, I think this is a pretty decent collectible. I am, however, disappointed that it wasn't made in polystone, much like the Witcher 3 collectible. I do feel that that was far more premium than this, which is that generically weird plastic that a lot of game collectibles have been coming out with over the last couple of years. Um, I did expect more, honestly speaking. I really thought this might be a polystone statue. I mean, given the price um, from a South African perspective, it was over four and a half thousand Rand. So this thing is not cheap. And I really did expect more from the statuette itself, despite how detailed it is. With that said, I do like the things that it did come with. I think the art book is super premium and super quality compared to a lot of previous art books from you know, other collector's editions. And I do like the other little bits and bobs that it does come with. And I will say the overall packaging is incredibly high quality. While unboxing the Cyberpunk 2077 Collector's Edition, I received a delivery with a press kit. So this is it. As you can see, the design is very similar to the Collector's Edition itself. Slipping off the see-through cover gives us access to a welcome letter, which is quite cool. And it's basically just thanking us for reviewing the game and welcoming us to Night City. And it's direct from CD Projekt Red, which is very cool. Underneath the welcome letter, there is a Night City guide to help us through the game, just in case we might need a couple of extras. Then there is also the score of the game. So the game features a lot of original music, some of which must be muted for those of you who want to stream it, but there is an option in the game settings to turn off copyrighted music. And then there is also one last thing in the press kit, and it is a coded flag, apparently. Very cool. Night City. The city of dreams.
established in 1994. Wow. <laughs> That's very cool. In addition to that, there was also a pretty cool keyring, a lanyard about the game and how it's releasing on the 19th of November, and a reward for Gwent. Now with that in mind, and now that you've seen this collectible, would you like to win one? If you would, there is a link below in the description that you can click on. Myself, along with Vamus.com, are giving away one collector's edition for either Xbox or PlayStation. It is only available to residents of South Africa, unfortunately, because shipping costs are so expensive and you have to be over the age of 18. If you meet those requirements, click the link, enter, and good luck. Maybe you'll be one of the winners of one of these collector's editions. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Ciao for now.